Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India project on econometric modeling. So, today we will discuss the same matrix approach to econometric modeling. So, in the last class we have given the basic framework of matrix approach to econometric modeling. So, that means how we have to have use matrix to solve the econometric modeling that to get the estimated model. So, basically we use matrix for a multivariate problem, but that does not mean that matrix application is always meant for multivariate problem. It can be also used for bivariate also. Okay, so uh, you you can use matrix in the bivariate, you can use trivariate, or you can use multivariate. But the use of matrix multivariate is the more interesting, more meaningful, or you can say it has more utility. But uh, it's very difficult to uh, you know start with a multivariate problem and that to apply of matrix approach here, it is very difficult. So, what we have to do here, we have to take a very simple problem and we will highlight how matrix can be used to get the estimated models. Okay? So, that is, uh, that is our today's observations only. So, what we have to do? So, I will take a simple problem. Okay? So, the problem consists of like this, y, y is 1, 4, 3, 8, 9. Okay. So, then corresponding to y, we have x, x constant to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So, that means, we are taking a bivariate systems here. So, there is one dependent variable y and there is another independent variable x. So, we can we can you know regress or we can estimate by simple uh, 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 application of OLS techniques which we have discussed long back. But you know uh, my point is here how matrix can be applied to solve this particular problem uh, so that we can get the you know estimated equations. So, now in this particular structures there are two variables. So, one dependent and one independent and the sample size is here just equal to 5. Okay. So, we are you know artificially we are keeping the system very simple so that uh, we can we can discuss very quickly otherwise if you will start with a very complex problem it is very difficult to you can say finish within this particular uh, you know class timing so uh, that's why we have taken a very simple problem that to very small sample size so that uh, our aim is here how matrix can be applied to get the estimated uh, to get the a estimated econometric models. Okay, so let's see here. So as usual, so for this particular problem, so uh, uh, in in the meantime, it's not uh, required to know uh, what is exactly y, what is exactly x, and what is the theory behind y and x, whether y and x are related to each other. So in the meantime, just to, uh, we are just tracing the pure mathematics. So that means uh, with having y and x, how we will get the estimated model that to beta 0 head and beta 1 heads and uh, then uh, means it, then we have to test the significance of these parameters and the overall fitness of the model that is the basic agenda. So, you know uh, 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 of course, we need theory we need you know uh, uh, literature so that we can justify properly or we can interpret the properly the estimated model, but in the meantime it is not required here we will uh, it is required when we will go for some uh, uh, something else. Okay. So, in the meantime, we just uh, uh, apply the matrix and have the estimated model that is our main agenda. Okay. So, for this, so let us assume that our uh, 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 our simple model is y equal to x beta plus u. Okay. So, where y consists of y 1, y 2, y 3, y 4 and y 5. Okay y 5 okay, these are the concept and you know uh, this particular structure can be represented like this. So, x represents years 
uh, x represents here obviously 1 1 1 and there are 5 observation 4 5 ok. So, then uh, uh, 0 1 0 1 uh, then 2 3 4 ok this is x that means what is exactly the structure this is like this ok. So, what we are doing 1 1 1 1 1 this is for beta 0 and for beta 1 the samples are x 1 1 x 2 1 x 2 uh, 3 1 x 4 1 x 5 1 ok. So, the, uh, this is x and similarly y y it can be represented like this y uh, y can be y can be like this uh, 1 4 3 8 9 ok. So, this is y ok. So, then we like to know what is beta. So, beta is here simply beta 0 and beta 1 ok. So, now oh, this is our this is our uh, uh, models uh, matrix approach to bivariate econometric model ok. This is uh, called as a matrix approach to bivariate econometric models ok. Matrix approach to bivariate econometric models. So, the uh, y equal to x beta plus u you know it is a very interesting. So, if it is g, if the system is a 2, then we can write y equal to x beta plus u. If it is 3, we can also write y equal to x beta plus u. If it is you know 4, the system consists of 4 variables, we can also write y equal to x beta plus u. If the system is 5 variables, we can write y equal to x beta plus u. That means, uh, whatever shape you have the or whatever you know problem setup is all about we will always represent in a unique format that is that is the speciality of matrix approach. So, that means y is simply equal to x beta plus u. However, when we uh, when we interpret or if we, when we you know uh, justifying the variable y x and you can say beta and u that times uh, uh, it will uh, it will highlight the details. For instance, if, if it is a bivariate then there are only two columns here. So, if it is trivariate then there are three columns here. If it is for, for, for variables then it is a, a, another column you have to add it. So, this is how you have to proceed further. So, that means this is the basic setup here. So, this is for bivariate. So, uh, once trivariate then another row uh, uh, another column then uh, if it is you know for variable system then there is another row uh, like this it will continue. So, similarly it will add one after another beta 0, beta 1, beta 2, beta 3, beta 4. So, okay. so uh, by the way it will also increase continuously. So, th this is how the entire structure. So, that means y is like this, x is like this and beta is like this. So, now we like to know the structure how will we get the estimated model. So, that means we like to know what is y head. Okay. Y head equal to x beta head, y head equal to x beta head, uh, x beta heads where beta head equal to x transpose x inverse x transpose y ok. So, this is our uh, you know uh, uh, estimated structures. So, forget about the variance of beta head and uh, other things because with that will come later. So, once we get the estimated model then we will look into the significance of the parameter and overall fitness of the model. So, that means our uh, our basic objective is here to get this beta head. So, how do we get this beta head through this matrix application only that is all ok. So, now uh, we have x here. So, x equal to simply uh, x equal to simply 1 2 3 4 5. So, 5 ones then uh, 0 1 2 3 4 this is x ok. So, then x transpose equal to x transpose equal to 1 1 1 1 1 then 0 1 2 3 4 ok. This is how the x transpose all about. So, that means we like to know what is x transpose x first we calculate x transpose x. So, x transpose x means so this is 1 1 1 1 1 then 0 1 2 3 4 ok multiplied by 1 1 1 1 1 ok this is multiply uh, then 0 1 2 3 4 ok this is how the uh, uh, complete structure. So, now we have to multiply. So, this is nothing but 1 into 1 into 1 plus th this way it will connect like this ok. This will connect like this, this will connect like this and this will connect uh, 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 connect like this ok. So, that means 1 1 1 1 and 
this and this okay this and this okay this and this this and this and finally this and this okay so this is how the entire structure so 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 okay 5 multiplies 1 2 3 4 then plus 1 into 1 okay so this is an one so because it is 2 into 2 this is uh, sorry 2 into 4 this is 4 into 2 okay so this is so, uh, sorry 2 into 5 and this is 5 into 2 so we will get simply 2 into 2 okay so this is one so obviously there will be another one so that means this particular 5 has to be multiplied with this one so that means 1 into 0 okay plus 1 into 1 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 into 3 plus 1 into 4 okay so similarly so this is this is how you have received so now this then this will be multiplied by this and this will be multiplied by this okay so that means 0 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 2 into 1 plus 3 into 1 plus 4 into 1 okay so this is a one structures then another is the 0 into 0 plus 1 into 1 plus 2 into 2 plus 3 into 3 plus 4 into 4 okay this is how the entire structure result so now this is this is if we do simplify this will be simply 5 and if we simplify this one this will be simply 10 and if we simplify this one again this will be 10 and if we simplify this one this will be remains 30 okay so now we will transport so that means x transpose x in x e equal to simply 5 10 then 10 30 okay so this is how the x x x transpose okay so we have we have received x transpose x is this much okay so similarly we like to know what is x transpose y so that means x transpose x equal to 5 10 then 10 30 okay at a time we can finish this job so that means we need beta head beta head equal to x transpose x inverse into x transpose y so we have now x transpose x so we have not received x transpose x inverse let us first do the x transpose x inverse x transpose x inverse so which is nothing but you know uh, a, a matrix a by a adjoint of matrix a by mod a okay this is adjoint of matrix a divided by mod a so this is a matrix okay we like to find out the adjoint of that particular matrix and divide by value of that matrix that is what the uh, simple formula of uh, inverse matrix okay so how do the uh, so for that here we have to know the cofactor and minor etc so I am not writing in detail so I am just calcul calculating the value only so now if we will simplify this one then it becomes it becomes minus 30 uh, it becomes minus 30 uh, no sorry this is 30 1 to the power 1 ok so then this is this is minus 10 this is minus 10 and this become 30 ok so divide by value of the matrix this is 30 into 5 minus 10 into 10 ok so this is nothing but 100 and this is 150 okay so that means it is equal to uh, one, 1 1 by 50 by 30 minus 10 then minus 10 5 okay this is the this is the we can say inverse matrix uh, sorry so inverse matrix of x transpose x inverse uh, x okay so x transpose x inverse equal to 1 by 50 30 minus 10 minus 10 5 okay so that is the inverse matrix okay so now we like to know if we simplify this one then x transpose x inverse is equal to 30 by 50 so that means 3 by 5 this is 0 0.6 then this will be minus 0 0.2 then this is minus 0.2 then this is simply 0.1 okay so this is x transpose x inverse so similarly we will get we like to know x transpose y so we know what is x transpose so x transpose we like to know x transpose y so what is first uh, x transpose so x transpose is here equal to 1 1 1 1 1 then 0 1 2 3 4 okay this is x transpose 
and we have to multiply it by y y y is how much y is the column vector is so y represents 1 4 3 8 9 ok so that means 1 1 1 1 1 0 1 2 3 4 multiplied by multiplied by y y is how much it is 1 4 3 then 8 9 ok so this is how the x transpose y so we will simplify again so that means uh, this is 2 into uh, 2 into 5 this is 5 into 1 so we will get 2 into 2 into 1 simply so 2 into 1 so 2 into 1 this my multiplied by this and this multiplied by this so that means it is nothing but 1 into 1 plus 1 into 4 plus 1 into 3 plus 1 into 8 plus 1 into 9 ok so this is one row then second row is 0 into 1 plus 1 into 4 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 3 plus uh, 4 into 9 ok so this is another row ok so now you if you simplify then this will be this will be coming 25 25 and 70 25 this is nothing but 25 75 that means this particular sum is 70 and this particular sum is equal to 25 this particular sum is called as a 25 okay so now so we will we will just summarize we will just summarize so uh, we have we have y equal to we have y equal to 1 4 3 8 9 then x equal to 0 1 2 3 4 ok then uh, uh, then 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 x transpose x equal to 5 10 uh, 10 uh, 10 30 this is x transpose x a, x then x transpose x inverse equal to how much it is 0 0.6 then minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2 then this is 0 0.1 okay 0 0.1 so this is x transpose x then we need x transpose y x transpose y is equal to how much x transpose y equal to 25 70 25 70 so this is x transpose y okay this is the summary of this particular you know system so now we need, we need to know what is beta head so beta head equal to x transpose x inverse into x transpose y ok so now x transpose x inverse is, uh, x is here then x transpose x uh, x transpose y is here so that means 0 0.6 minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2 0 0.1 ok so this is one matrix another matrix is 2570 ok so this is order of 2 into 1 and this is order of order of 2 into 2 so obviously so this will be crossed out so ultimately the result of matrix should be 2 into 1 because we have beta head means it is nothing but beta 0 head and beta 1 head so this is how the entire structures ok this is how the entire structures so we have to multiply again so this multiplied by this and this multiplied by this so uh, obviously it is 0 0.6 into 25 ok plus minus 0 0.2 into 70 ok so minus 0 0.70 then another column will be minus 0 0.2 uh, into 25 plus 0 0.1 into 70 ok so this is another another row ok so this particular structure this structure will be coming equal to how much it will be if you simplify then this is 0 0.6 into 25 so 3 6 by 10 ok 1 by 1 point and uh, this is you know how much uh, 6 3 150 ok so 15 ok then minus 70 14 ok 14.0 so then this is a, this is minus uh, 20 okay 
no, but 50. Okay, 50. This is 50. Then this is 70. Okay, plus 70. 0 0.70, 0 0.50. Okay, so that means it is equal to 1 and 2. It is equal to 1 and 2. This is equal to 1 and simply 2. Okay, this is this is how it is coming. So, beta 0 head equal to that means beta 0 head equal to 1 and beta 1 head equal to 2. Again, we will, we will summarize this uh, entire result. So, that means x transpose x what we have obtained x transpose x is equal to 5 10 10 30 ok then x transpose y uh, x transpose y equal to uh, 25 70 ok then x transpose x inverse is equal to 0 0.6 minus 0 0.2 uh, then minus 0 0.2 0 0.1 so this is x transpose x inverse then we have x transpose x into x x transpose uh, x transpose x inverse into x transpose y which is coming 1 and 2 ok no 1 and 2 so it is better so we will write 1 and 2 like this ok so this is how the a system so now what is our beta head so beta head equal to x transpose x inverse into x transpose y so which is nothing but beta 0 head and beta 1 head ok. So, which is equal to that implies this is this is equal to 1 and 2. So, that means the estimated equation will be the estimated equation will be so y head equal to 1 plus 1 plus this is not required 1 plus 2 x ok 1 plus 2 x. So, that means this is this is nothing but how will we write here so that means it is beta 0 head plus beta 1 head beta 1 head x so beta 0 head is 1 and beta 1 head is equal to 2 so now we like to uh, once you get the estimated model then you have to go by as usual procedure so uh, uh, to test the significance of the parameters that to beta 0 head and beta 1 head and again overall fitness of the model that is r square and followed by f statistic so now here we will not for you know again go by beta 0 head separately and beta 1 head separately rather we will get beta head uh, direct value then automatically it will indicate the significance of the parameters so let's see here so now to know the significance of the parameters then once this is b, this is beta head okay so we need like to know variance of beta head so variance of beta head equal to oh, the, uh, sorry the variance of beta head uh, the formula is a uh, sigma square uh, u x transpose x transpose x inverse so this is the formula which we calculate for you can say variance of beta head so now once you have variance of beta head so then accordingly uh, by the procedure uh, you have to calculate uh, the sigma squares then for once you have the sigma square then you have to multiply it with x x transpose x inverse then you can get to know the variance of beta so accordingly you have to make a square root you will get the standard error of beta head so then you have to connect with the hypo uh, null hypothesis ultimately you will get the t statistics okay so let's see here how is the structure so before uh, before going to sigma square summation x transpose x inverse it's better it's better so you have to first calculate this particular structure so this is sigma square u square so sigma square where sigma square sigma square u is equal to summation u square by n minus k ok n represents total number of observations total sample observations sample observations and this is k represents uh, k represents here total number of variables total number of variables total number of variables ok so this total number of variables is here uh, only k represents here 2 ok so because two variables are there only y and x so n minus k ok n minus k so now we like to know what is summation e square so summation e square is here so that means sigma square u equal to summation e square by n minus k so here summation e square equal to summation y square minus summation y head square summation y head squares ok so what is summation y head square so summation y square summation y square is here uh, ok summation y square is uh, equal to uh, y transpose y 
सो दिस इज हाउ वाई ट्रांसपोज वाई माइनस एन वाई बार स्क्र सो दिस इज हाउ दि स्ट्रक्चर अबाउट एन माइनस एन वाई बार स्क्र एंड समेसन वाई हेड स्क्र इक्वल टू समेसन वाई हेड स्क्र इक्वल टू दैट इज यू नो एस इ एस एस ओके दिस इज इ एस एस दिस इज इ एस एस दैट विल बी बीटा हेड ट्रांसपोज एक्स ट्रांसपोज वाई माइनस एन वाई बार स्क्र ओके बीटा ओके राइट एन बार वाई स्क्र ओके देन समेसन इ स्क्र इक्वल टू समेसन वाई स्क्र माइनस एम स्क्र सो दिस इज समेसन वाई स्क्र इक्वल टू एक्सप्लेन सम स्क्र दैट इज एसिडुअल सम स्क्र दैट विल बी वाई ट्रांसपोज वाई माइनस बीटा हेड ट्रांसपोज एक्स ट्रांसपोज वाई दिस इज समेसन यस दिस इज समेसन इ स्क्र दिस इज समेसन वाई स्क्र दैन दिस इज समेसन वाई हेड स्क्र सो नाउ वी लाइक टू नो व्हाट इज सो देन नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज यू टू कैलकुलेट समेसन वाई स्क्र समेसन वाई हेड स्क्र समेसन वाई स्क्र यू सी सिंस वी हैव ओनली सिंपली वाई एंड एक्स सो यू कैन जस्ट पुट इन द एक्सेल सीट एंड यू कैन कैलकुलेट इमीडिएटली बाय यू नो ट्रांसफरिंग ट्रांसफरिंग इन टू डेविएशन फॉर्मेट दिस इज दिस इज ऑल अबाउट इन यू कैन से ओरिजिनल फॉर्मेट वी कैन ट्रांसफर इन टू डेविएशन फॉर्मेट एंड यू कैन गेट द एंसर बट यू नो हियर आवर एम इज नॉट टू गेट द रिजल्ट इमीडिएटली हियर आवर एम इज हाउ मेट्रिक्स कैन हेल्प यू to get this result done okay so that is our the structure so that means once you have the, you once you have this particular uh, estimated uh, beta so we have to find out the significance of the beta then uh, obviously we have to uh, you have to find out the variance of beta head and for that we need to know sigma square u and sigma for that you need to know summation e square summation y head square summation y square so these are the formula which help you to calculate all these statistics okay so that means what we have to do now so we know what is we know what is y and we know what is y head so accordingly we have to calculate so summation y square is nothing but y transpose y okay that means we have to multiply just like you know we have got here e transpose e so similarly y transpose e we will get it here so similarly summation y head square equal to y head transpose you can say why so this is how the entire structure can be built okay so let's see how we will calculate summation y square first so summation e square uh, summation e square we have to calculate like this so what you have to do so let's say y is there so y is how much so y is 1 4 3 8 9 okay so this is this is y y structures okay this is y structures and we like to know y bar uh, no sorry y transpose y transpose uh, y transpose equal to uh, y transpose equal to then uh, you know this is 1 uh, 4 uh, 3 1 4 3 8 9 okay 8 9 1 4 3 8 9 okay so this is in square matrix this is square matrix this is column matrix okay so now we like to know what is y transpose y So y transpose y is nothing but one four three eight nine, then multiplied by column vectors one four three eight nine. Okay, so this is how we'll give you, oh, you know, summation y squares or y head uh, y y head uh, uh, y transpose y. Okay, y transpose y. So now this will be equal to uh, one into one. Okay, plus Four into four plus three into three plus eight into eight plus nine into nine. Okay, so this is this is you know this is uh, this is one into one into five and this is five into one. So the matrix order we can receive one cross one only. So this is nothing but if we simplify. Then one seventy one. So that means summation y square equal to one seventy one. So similarly, we like to know y head square. So for that we need to know y head. So y head equal to actually x beta head. So y head equal to x beta head. But we we have beta head and we have also x. So we can again multiply. So what is x here? So y head equal to x beta head. So x beta head means what is x here? So x is here one 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 one. Five numbers, 
okay so then 0 1 2 3 4 then multiplied by beta head beta head equal to simply 1 and 2 so this is this is 5 into 2 and this is 2 into 2 into 1 so we will have the order 5 into 1 okay we will have the order 5 into 1 so okay so how we will do that so okay we will find out here so we will find out here so this is nothing but so we like to know y head so y head equal to a 1 2 3 4 5 then this is 0 1 2 3 4 then multiplied by 1 and 1 and 2 okay so that means um, 1 into 1 okay so this is uh, 1 then uh, then 1 into 1 plus 0 into 2 plus 0 into 2 okay so this is first uh, element then 1 into 1 plus 1 into 2 then 1 into 1 plus 2 into 2 then 1 into 1 plus 2 3 into 2 okay then 1 into 1 plus 4 into 2 okay so this is the y head so you will see if you simplify then you will get th this is nothing but 1 this is nothing but 3 this is nothing but 5 then this is nothing but 7 and this is nothing but 9 ok so this is y head this is y head but we need y head transpose y y head transpose y so uh, this is y head ok so y head transpose means so this will be like this 1 3 5 7 9 1 3 5 7 9 so we like to calculate y head transpose y so now y head uh, y head transpose y is nothing but uh, 1 3 5 7 9 ok so this is 1 into 5 order ok 1 into 5 order 1 into 5 order uh, then uh, uh, multiplied by multiplied by y what is y here so y is here uh, 1 4 3 8 9 ok so this is y ok so oh, this is uh, this is the order of uh, 5 into 1 so 5 5 cancel so ultimately this has to be considered ok so that means we will get 1 into 1 matrix so uh, for that we have to 1 into 1 uh, plus 3 into 4 plus 5 into 3 plus 7 into 8 plus 9 into 9 ok 9 into 9 so that means this is the completer so this this is this is 1 this is 12 this is 15 this is 56 this is 81 so if you will make a sum then it will be coming 165 okay so this is 165 1 upon 1 okay this is y head transpose similarly we like to know so now you get summation y square we have just calculated summation y square here the summation uh, so this is summation y square uh, and this is summation y square so this is summation y head square so we we like to have again summation e squares okay summation e square so what is e so we like to know e e first so e equal to y minus y head okay so what is y head here so y head 1 okay y head is e 135 one, 13579 okay so we will formulate like this so y equal to what is y here so y is 1 4 okay 1 4 3 8 9 okay so then y head minus y head what is y head y head equal to 1 3 5 7 9 so which just uh, receives y head equal to Oh, x beta head okay beta head uh, uh, y head equal to oh, x beta heads okay which uh, means we have to multiply the x vector with the beta head then you will get the oh, 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 y heads okay just like this is this is y head in transpose so obviously 1 3 5 7 9 will be in a column set so now this is 5 into uh, 5 cross 1 this is 5 cross 1 so obviously subtraction can be possible so that means we will get uh, we will get the e, e is nothing but error is nothing but 0 1 minus 2 1 0 because 1 minus 1 0 4, 4 minus 3 
1, then 3 minus 5 minus 2, 8 minus 7 1, then 9 minus 9 0. So, this is E component, okay. this is E component. So, this is E, e, e component. So, but we, our requirement is E, e transpose E. Okay. So, now e, we have E equal to uh, 0, 1, minus 2, 1, 0. This is, this is E component. So, we like to calculate E transpose. So, E transpose equal to 0, 1, minus 2, 1, 0. Okay. So, this is E transpose. So, now we like to know E transpose E. So, E transpose E. E transpose E means 0, 1, minus 2, 1, 0 multiplied by 0, 1, minus 2, 1, 0. Okay. So, this is another structure. So, now this is this is 1 into 5 and this is 5 into 1. Okay. So, obviously, we have this system 1 cross 1. Okay. So, 1 cross 1. So, that means it is equal to uh, 0 into 0 plus 1 into 1 plus minus 2 into minus 2 plus 1 into 1 plus 0 into 0. Okay. So, this is of 1 into order. This is 0, this is 1, this is 4, this is 1, this is 0. So, that will be coming on actually 6. Okay. That will be coming actually 6. So, now see the moment. Uh, so, uh, we will just simplify all these structures. So, that means our uh, E transpose E, E transpose E equal to 6, then o Y here transpose Y is equal to uh, 165, then, uh, then, uh, then uh, Y, uh, so, uh, so y head Y transpose Y is equal to 171. Okay. Let us check it here. So, uh, because this is nothing but TSS, this is nothing but uh, ESS and this is nothing but RSS. Okay. This is nothing but RSS, but uh, by default we have TSS equal to ESS plus RSS. Okay. So, that means total sum square equal to explained sum square plus residual sum squares. So, that means if you put here, you just connect here. So, this is 171. So, that means 171 is equal to 165 plus 6. So, this is equal to 171. So, that means this and this are equal. So, this system is okay. Okay. That means uh, we are in the right track. Okay. So, now uh, this is uh, this is you know this is RSS, this is ESS, this is TSS. Okay, but we need ESS only because sigma square equal to summation e square by n minus two. Okay, so that means this is six. Okay, uh, n minus two because k is k equal to two here. So obviously six by n is five here. So five minus two. So this is three. Okay, so that means sigma square equal to two. Sigma square equal to two. So the moment you will get sigma square two, then obviously. Okay, let's see here. So, see, okay. So, this is 6. So, r square uh, r square uh, will be coming. So, that means sigma square equal to 2. So, now variance of beta, variance of beta, uh, uh, beta head equal to how much sigma square, uh, sigma square u x transpose x inverse. Okay. What is x transpose x inverse? Let us see here. So, x transpose x inverse. Uh, so, this is this is this is x transpose x inverse. Okay, this is x transpose x inverse. So now we have to write here. So that means sigma square u equal to two here. Then x transpose x inverse uh, x transpose x inverse. Okay. So that means it is multiplied by a zero point six minus zero point two minus zero point two into zero point one. Okay. This is how the entire structure all about. Okay. So, this is variance of uh, sigma square uh, sigma square u 2 and this is x transpose x inverse. Okay. So, now 2 has to be multiplied with this one. So, we will get the variance of beta head. Okay. Um, variance of beta head. Okay. Variance of beta head. So, now accordingly 
So, uh, this is you uh, know this is in fact is a uh, transpose. So, there is no point to write it here again transpose x transpose x inverse into x transpose y ok variance of beta had equal sigma square x transpose x inverse ok. So, now uh, we have to calculate this value. So, this is nothing but uh, uh, to ok. So, this is how the variance of beta had has to be calculated ok. So, now this is one part of the story. So, that means what we have received here. So, our model will be our model will be like this. Uh, so, y head y head equal to 1 plus 2 x. So, that means beta 0 head equal to 1 and beta 1 head equal to uh, 2 ok beta uh, 1 head equal to 2. So, now uh, we need to know whether beta 0 head is significant or beta 1 head is significant. So, that means uh, we like to uh, we like like to calculate t beta 0 head t beta 0 head equal to uh, ac accordingly we have to set the null hypothesis null hypothesis such that beta 0 uh, head not equal to 0 uh, no ok it will be equal to 0 uh, and against the alternative hypothesis beta 0 not equal to 0 ok this is equal to 0. So, that means beta beta 0 head divided by standard error of beta 0 head ok standard error of beta 0 head. So, similarly we have we, we, we have to calculate variance of beta head that will be single factor the moment you will get this uh, multiply then obviously you will you will get this value. So, uh, uh, similarly t t beta uh, t beta 1 head is equal to uh, beta 1 head by standard error of beta 1 head this is beta 0 head ok bit standard error of beta 1 head ok. So, this is calculated statistics and uh, you have to compare with the tabulated statistics uh, 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 with respect to this degrees of freedom uh, n minus 2 then you can get to know whether it is statistically significant or not statistically significant ok. So, this is a uh, this is first part of the story that is to that is with respect to significance of the parameters ok. So, the moment you know the significance of the parameters uh, obviously, there will be definite uh, there must be definite conclusion whether beta 0 is significant or beta 1 is significant or you can say both are non significant or vice versa one is significant another is a, a not significant ok. So, uh, means by the way in that particular process you get to know whether this a particular item is statistically significant or not ok. So, now what you have to do? So, uh, you like to know uh, uh, you like to know the uh, other part of the story that is uh, overall fitness of the model. So, overall fitness of the models. So, that means, uh, once you have estimated models y uh, y equal to 1 plus 2 x. So, that this y, y head equal to 1 plus 2 x which we have just now received. So, that means, uh, this is nothing but beta 0 head uh, beta 0 head plus beta 1 head x. So, that means, beta 0 head is equal to 1 and beta 1 head equal to 2. So, obviously, so you, you like to know uh, t, t of beta 0 head and t of you know beta 1 head ok. So, this is how you have to obtain ok. So, then you check it whether statistical significance or not. So, that means, the this is first part of the uh, model that is significance of the parameter significance of the parameters all right. So, the second part of the model is the R square that is overall overall fitness of the model overall fitness of the model overall fitness of the model. So, what is R square? R square is here um, ESS uh, the ratio between ESS by TSS what is ESS here? So, ESS is here how much ESS we have calculated? So, just now here ok. So, this is this is here ESS. So, uh, no, this is ok. This 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 is ESS. This is ESS here. So, ESS is 165. So, this is equal to oh, 165. Then, this is uh, this is TSS. TSS is equal to 171. Ok. This is 171. So, this is R square value. Uh, R square. Uh, so, that means, uh, if you put it here. So, uh, so uh, the calculation will be like this. So, just one minute here 1 equal to 165 divided by 171. Okay. So, this will be coming 0 0.965 0 0.965. So, it will be coming 
पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स फाइव सो मीन्स आर स्क्र भैल्यू आर स्क्र भैल्यू इज पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स फाइव और अदरवाइज और इट इज नथिंग बट नाइन्टी सेवेन परसेंट इफ नाइन्टी सेवेन परसेंट मीन्स दि रिलायबिलिटी अफ दि मडेल इज दि भेरी हाई दैट मीन्स दि एवरअल फिटनेस मडेल ओवरअल फिटनेस अफ दि मडेल इज भेरी हाई सिंस सिंस इट इज भेरी क्लोज टू वन सो दैट मीन्स दिस मडेल कैन भी यूज फर फरकास्टिंग योर पलिस यूज बट इन द सेम टाइम वी हेव टू चेक वेदर दिस पारामिटर्स आर स्टाटिकली सिग्निफिकेन्ट और नट ओके सो दि मोमेंट इट विल स्टाटिकल सिग्निफिकेन्ट बट दि पारामिटर्स देन अबियसली दिस आर स्कर कैन भी भैलीड स्टिल इट इज डाउटफुल बिकज इन ए बैरियड सिस्टम इफ यू आर गेटिंग हाई एंड हाई आर स्कर्स देन अबियसली इट मे बी क्रिटिसाइज बिकज मोस्टली इफ दि मल्टीवेरियड सिस्टम इज देयर एंड आर स्कर भैल्यू इज हाई देन इट कैन भी जस्टिफाइड बट हियर इन दिस बैरियड सिस्टम इवन इफ पारामिटर्स आर स्टाटिकल सिग्निफिकेन्ट स्टिल इट इज डाउटफुल केस अंटिल अनलेस यू क्लारीफाई दैट नो अदर भेरिएबल्स आर सिग्निफिकेन्टली इनफ्लुएंसिंग दिस सिस्टम स्टिल इफ यू आर गेटिंग लाइक दिस सिस्टम देन यू हेव टू फाइंड आउट व्हाट आर दि अदर भेरिएबल्स विच कैन इनफ्लुएंस दिस मडेल देन यू एंटर एंड यू चेक इट वेदर दि मडेल पारामिटर्स और मडेल रिलायबिलिटी विल वि गेटिंग एफेक्टेड इफ इट इज नट देन यू कैन से दैट दिस मडेल इज एब्सुलेटली ओके विथ यू ओके दिस इज आर स्केयर सिमिलरली विल गेट एडजस्टेड आर स्केयर एडजस्टेड आर स्केयर इक्वल टू वन इन वन माइनस वन माइनस आर स्केयर इन टू एन माइनस वन बै एन माइनस एन माइनस के ओके सो दिस इज दिस इज एन माइनस के ओके सो नाउ वन माइनस वन माइनस वन माइनस आर मीन्स पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स फाइव सो दिस इज ए थार्टी फाइव ओके दिस विल बी कमिंग पॉइंट थार्टी फाइव सो पॉइंट थार्टी फाइव ओके पॉइंट थार्टी फाइव राइट पॉइंट थार्टी फाइव नो इट्स पॉइंट जीरो नाइन सेवेन मीन्स इट्स पॉइंट जीरो थ्री फाइव ओबियसली जीरो थ्री फाइव लेट सी हेयर पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स फाइव जीरो थ्री फाइव सो जीरो जीरो नाइन ओके सो दिस इज वन राइट करेक्ट सो पॉइंट पॉइंट जीरो थ्री फाइव इंटु एन माइनस वन एन माइनस वन इज एन इज फाइव हियर सो दिस इज फोर डिवाइड बै एन माइनस के फाइव माइनस टू दिस विल बी थ्री ओके सो दैट मीन्स पॉइंट जीरो थ्री फाइव सो इक्वल टू वन माइनस वन माइनस नाइन सिक्स सेवेन थ्री विच इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट जीरो थ्री फाइव ओके दिस इज इक्वल टू दिस इज इक्वल टू ओके दिस इज इक्वल टू ए टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई फोर बै ए थ्री ओके फोर बै थ्री सो फोर बै थ्री देन इट इज बिकमिंग जीरो पॉइंट फोर सिक्स सो जीरो पॉइंट फोर सिक्स पॉइंट एट सो इट इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस वन माइनस दिस मच ओके सो दिस इज बिकमिंग पॉइंट नाइन फाइव सो दिस इज बिकमिंग पॉइंट नाइन फाइव थ्री सो दैट मीन्स आर स्केयर इक्वल टू पॉइंट नाइन सिक्स फाइव एंड एडजस्टेड आर स्केयर इक्वल टू पॉइंट नाइन फाइव थ्री सो देर इज ए डिफारेंस एंड दैट डिफारेंस इज मोस्टली बिकज ऑफ बिकज ऑफ दि एडजस्टमेंट ऑफ वेरिएबल्स एंड दि नंबर ऑफ सैम्पल सैज दैट दैट मीन्स मोस्टली इट इज उथ रेस्पेक्ट टू डिग्रीज ऑफ फ्रीडम ऑनली सो ऑबियसली बट एडजस्टेड आर स्केयर इज दि मोर रिलायबल कम्पोनेंट हुई कैन टेस्ट दि रिलायबिलिटी ओके और बेस्ट फिटनेस ऑफ दि मडल सो नाउ दिस इज दिस इज बट स्टिल वी आर नट कन्फिडेंट वेदर दिस पार्टिकुलर मडल इज एब्सुलेटली सिग्निफिकेन्ट बिकज उई हेव रिसीव जस्ट आर स्केयर एंड दैट हेज टू बी अगेन स्टाटिकली सिग्निफिकेन्ट सो फर दैट वी नीड टू हेव वी नीड टू हेव एफ स्टाटिस्टिक सो दैन दैट मीन्स वी उल नीड टू नो व्हाट इज एफ स्टाटिस्टिक हेयर सो एफ स्टाटिस्टिक इज हेयर्स the ratio between ess by it rss but ess we have already calculated that is 165 divided by rss rss is coming just rss is just coming 6 okay 6 so that means 165 165 by 6 so this is equal to 165 divided by 6 okay 27.5 so it will be coming 27.5 so r square is 27.5 so uh, there is enough chance that this particular uh, structure is st highly statistically significant there is no doubt about it if you if you are getting high and high r square then obviously f statistic will be 
very high because uh, 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 AF is derived from the R square only. You see here, R square is nothing but uh, uh, sorry. Okay, uh, since F is equal to ESS by TSS, you just uh, uh, sorry RSS. You just divide TSS in the both the sides. So that means ESS by TSS divided by RSS by TSS. Okay, so uh, so it will be this is R squares followed by k minus one and this is followed by n minus k. Okay. So, this means r square by k minus 1 divided by 1 minus r square 1 minus because r s s is the uh, uh, e s s minus uh, uh, e, 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 t s s minus e s s. So, t s s by t s s equal to 1 then e s s by t s s again equal to r square. So, 1 minus r square by n minus k. So, that means there is another possibility that when uh, it is just means it is justified that uh, if R square is substantially high, then obviously F will be substantially. If a R square is substantially low, then F will be substantially low. So, that means, um, there is a huge connection between R square and F. The significance of the uh, F depends upon the value of R squares. If R square is high, then there is enough chance that uh, F will be structurally significant. If R square is very low, then there is enough possibility that R, uh, the F will be not significant. Okay. So, that means, it is very closely connected to each other. So, now, if we if we we'll summarize all these details, then finally, the estimated model will be y head equal to 1 plus 2 x uh, uh, and r square equal to r square equal to here. So, how much uh, r square uh, r square equal to here 0 0.9 uh, 0 0.965, then adjusted r square r bar square equal to 0 0.953 and f statistic is equal to F statistic equal to uh, simply how much 27.5. Okay, so this is the second part of the reliability. This is the second part of the reliability. Okay, so that means this is overall fitness of the test. Overall fitness of the of the test. Okay, so that means that means we are now come to. Uh, conclusion that uh, matrix ma matrix can be applied uh, to estimate the bivariate model it can also helpful for estimate the trivariate model and it can also helpful for estimate the multivariate model so that means uh, it is just like you know the system of old wine in a new bottles nothing new so uh, there, there there are several ways we have to uh, estimate the model and get the uh, 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 you know estimated model and followed by the ch checking of uh, significance of the parameter and overall fitness of the model but uh, uh, of course sometimes you must have sound knowledge means various techniques various methods various tools through which the estimation can be possible it's not uh, 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 means it it is not suggestive that you have to always know one technique or one tools or one path through which you will get the job done. So, you should know various techniques, various tools and various methods through which how you have to, how you have to receive the estimated models. You know, uh, till now we, we are discussing about the application of OLS technique only. Even if in this matrix approach also, we are, we are transferring the system into matrix. Uh, ultimately, we are differentiating with respect to corresponding parameters, but that is nothing but the application of OLS again. Again, you know, uh, method methodology wise, yeah, you can apply also uh, various other techniques like GLS technique, WLS technique, maximum likelihood estimate technique. So, as so many other, uh, you know, uh, methods are there, uh, we can get the estimation, uh, estimated model. But uh, uh, we will discuss later so how GLS and WLS or maximum likelihood estimator can be applied and can get the estimated model. Uh, till now, we uh, we are in a position that there are various ways we have to get the estimated model. So now, uh, one part of the econometric modeling is the over years. So now, in the next class onwards, so we assume that there is the estimated model. So once you have the estimated model what are the things we have to look and what are the things we have to do further to get the model best fitted and for means we, we have to look the model should be very best for you know for casting use and for policy use. So, for that it the job is not so simple it, it the complexity will be more interesting here because we have to look various aspects uh, uh, of estimated models 
uh, before you use for you can say for casting and policy use. So, when we look for best models uh, with respect to forecasting and policy use, so we have to compromise lots of things, we have to go through various aspects. So, uh, sometimes one will be very uh, very much you know helpful for you and on the same time other will not helpful for you. So, uh, we have uh, with this type of shortcomings that means sometimes you know you are in the gain position, you are in the loss position. So, we have to find out a balanced approach through which the model can be judge as a best models and can be used for forecasting and policy use. So, we will discuss in details in the next class. So, till now we have to close this chapter here. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.